A woman was praying in the Kaaba when a short-statured person came and committed such a shameful act that the Umrah pilgrims became furious. Astaghfirullah. Assalamu alaikum, viewers. An incident of such disgrace occurred at a sacred place like the Kaaba that onlookers were outraged. While the woman was in a state of prostration, a short person came. His disrespectful act caused an uproar everywhere. Before we begin narrating this incident, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you stay informed about every upcoming lesson-filled video. Yes, viewers, various miracles keep occurring in the house of Allah, whose videos go viral on social media. However, the same ignorant people also commit such mistakes that create a negative impression in the atmosphere. Every day, millions of visitors come to visit the Kaaba. Sometimes, due to the crowd, some unbelievable events occur. A similar incident happened at the house of Allah, which infuriated Muslims. This incident happened in such a way that a woman from Bangladesh, who was fully veiled, was present in the Kaaba. It was time for prayer. As the rows were formed and the prayer began, this woman for the first time started praying in the Kaaba. She was weeping and seeking forgiveness, making supplications, when her attention went to a person standing at some distance. His height was like that of a ten-year-old child, but he had a beard and moustache. The woman was crying, looking at the Kaaba, and the man was smiling while looking at her. His smile was deep, and seeing this, the woman felt very strange. Some people were still performing tawaf, while the rest were lined up in prayer. As soon as the woman went into prostration, the short-statured man, who was quite old, started approaching her. It is said that he was between 35 to 40 years old, but his height remained like that of a 10 or 11-year-old child. He had been in Makkah for the last two days and was very mischievous. As soon as the woman went into prostration, he laughed while observing her. The woman realized that a presence was standing before her, but even knowing this, she continued her prayer. When she went into prostration again, the short person committed an act that made the onlookers avert their eyes in shame. The short man advanced and climbed onto the woman's back, pulling her abaya. Tears welled up in the woman's eyes, and she was too embarrassed to lift her head from the prostration. Those who witnessed this act were furious. Everyone started making noise and advanced to remove the short person. The caretakers rushed over and slapped him, but the short man started hitting them back. He was immediately removed from the holy mosque, but he began crying like a child, rubbing his heels on the ground. At that moment, a person ran forward, hiding him behind himself, and apologized to the caretaker, saying, Please forgive us. He is our younger brother who has the mental state of a child. He doesn't understand anything. We thought that bringing him here might improve his mental state, but he didn't improve here either. The caretaker scolded them, saying, This is not your home but the house of Allah. Every visitor is seen with respect and honor here, and committing such an act with a woman is considered highly improper. It would be better if you brought people like him under supervision, so the sanctity of the Kaaba remains upheld for pilgrims. Friends, with this, we'll tell you about a miracle that shook the world, but the truth behind this miracle will astonish you. Four years ago, a video from the Holy Sites went viral on social media, which we will discuss in today's video. In 2019, a video was shared on the Islamic Information website, claiming that a blind man regained his sight upon seeing the Kaaba while praying. This man was from Egypt, and this miraculous event left the Umrah pilgrims in awe. The viral video claimed that after an Egyptian Muslim prayed in the Grand Mosque of Mecca, his sight returned. This astonishing video was widely shared across various social media platforms and is going viral again. In the video, the man appears to be celebrating, seemingly cured of blindness. He joyfully said, My sight has returned. Thank you, Allah. He then embraced the other men around him who came to congratulate him. However, what was the truth of this video? Viewers, when the truth came to light, those who were praying for him started cursing him instead. But this wasn't the end of the story. As more details emerged, a shameful truth came out behind this heart-touching story. According to Saudi media, this man was not actually blind. He was a professional who created opportunities for his accomplices to steal mobile phones and wallets from pilgrims. Yes, viewers, he was not a pious man miraculously regaining his sight, 
but he staged this act so that as soon as a crowd gathered around him, his accomplice could steal others' wallets and cash. This revelation came two years later, when the incident was brought to light through another video on social media. It was observed that the pickpocket was working in collusion with the so-called blind man. Another person was also present, taking money from people's pockets and keeping it. Later, the so-called blind man and the pickpocket were seen together. Astagfirullah. If these are not signs of the end times, what are they? Things are going from bad to worse in today's society. People don't even refrain from stealing in the Kaaba. They commit such shameful acts that the fear of God is disappearing from people's hearts. To the right side of the Kaaba door, eight different sized pieces of marble are installed, about which few people know. These pieces of brownish and yellowish marble are known globally as Mary's Stone, and it is said they have been installed beside the Kaaba door for 807 years. Mohyuddin al-Hashimi, a researcher of the Holy Mosques, spoke to alarabia.net about the history of these unique pieces of marble, explaining that they were gifted by Abbasid Caliph Abu Jafar Mansur to the Grand Mosque during the repairs of the Mutaf area in 631 AH. The date is engraved on the blue-colored marble. According to historical traditions, it was here that the angel Gabriel, after the prophethood, taught the prophet Muhammad, PBUH, how to pray for the first time. The floor is made of white Majin stone, with these eight pieces installed underneath. From 1213 AH to 1377 AH, these stones were stolen. Due to the narrow space in Majin, where only one person could stand for prayer at a time, they were later moved to the side of the Kaaba door in Shazwan. May Allah guide all Muslims and grant them the ability to perform righteous deeds. Amin. O oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge, good provision, and accepted deeds. O oh Allah, open the doors of your sustenance for me and bless me with halal, lawful earnings. Make me content with what you have provided me and place barakah, blessing, in my earnings, my family, and my entire life. Ya Allah, expand my provision and make it easy for me to acquire. Protect me from poverty, hardship, and the burden of debt. Ya Allah, I seek refuge in you from all difficulties and challenges in my finances and ask you to bestow your bounty and abundance upon me. O oh Allah, grant me success in all my endeavors and help me to fulfill my goals in life. Increase my wealth in ways that are pleasing to you and let my wealth be a means of supporting others, doing good and drawing closer to you. O oh Allah, make my wealth a source of comfort not a test or a source of pride. Ya Allah, protect my wealth from loss and from the envy of others, and keep it safe from harm. Guide me to use it wisely, and let it serve as a means for my spiritual growth and success in the hereafter. O oh Allah, bless me with wealth that brings me closer to you, with a heart that is humble, and with contentment that keeps me grateful. Ya Allah, the provider of sustenance, the Lord of endless treasures, make me among those who are generous, those who help others, and those who fulfill their obligations. Grant me the ability to repay any debts I may have and to be independent of others by your grace.